All right, how's everybody doing today? Uh, today, I want to talk to my class here about making a cup of coffee. It's it's important to make a cup of coffee. It's one of those life lessons that you need to know. Even if you don't drink coffee, you need to know how to make a cup of coffee because somebody around you might want some coffee. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through the basics. I'm going to tell you a couple things. Uh, tell you that the three key ingredients and the types of ingredients you use tells whether or not you're going to have a good product. Product or ingredient number one, water. Water is very important. Uh, typically, you like to just use tap water. <laughs> tap water gets us our water, makes it so we can go ahead and drink something, makes everything fine. Number two is going to be the coffee grounds. The ground of the coffee uh, is going to is going to take into effect the type of absorption the water does, so you can go ahead and have the right water with the right coffee with the right grounds in order to get a good solid cup of coffee. So we got our water in there. Then here's our grounds. There's actually six different types, there's, well, let me tell you this, there's nine different types of water. All right, and, and, and I, I got them written down. I got them written for you. I don't have them in front of me. There's nine different types of water. We're gonna use tap. All right, then the coffee grinds. There's six different types of grinds. I found that on uh, coffeeinmyveins.com, coffeeinmyveins.com. We'll tell you all the different types of grind, uh, different types of grinds they have, what all those grinds, what the different principles of those grinds are for the different type of coffee you're gonna have. You got coarse, medium coarse, medium, medium fine, fine and extra fine. Extra fine is like satin in your fingers. Coarse is like sandpaper. This right here is medium. You're gonna find medium in just about every household you go to make a pot of coffee. So you're going to kind of shake it, make it level, it doesn't have to be perfect. Since I'm making a full pot, I'm going to use two. And because I love coffee, use a little extra. Alright, now, the third thing you need is the brew. I had to look for this, took me a little bit, it was readersdigest.canada, readersdigest.ca. That's where I went to find out about the different brew methods. Today we're going to be using the drip. I'm a Mr. Coffee here. My wife bought me. I love my Mr. Coffee. I can set the timer and it'll be ready for me in the morning. But you have the French press, percolator. You have the Keurig single serve style. You have the Aero press. The Aero press is similar to the French press. Uh, you have the drip, which right here. You got the pour over, the cold brew, and this one called mocha. Uh, I think it's pronounced mocha. It's M-O-K-A. It's an Italian process. It's similar to the percolator, where the percolator is electric or stovetop. The mocha is strictly stovetop. Put it up there, and it pulls the water from the bottom up to the top. Goes ahead and lets it soak back down in to the ground, so the grounds will turn into it. The grounds will make you coffee. So uh, those are my those are my three points. Those are the three things you got to do to make a cup of coffee. You got to have the right water. You got to have the right kind of coffee grounds. You got to have the right kind of, of brewing method. The brew is very important, but the most important is the grind. You got to have the right grind for the right kind of water you're using and the right kind of coffee maker you're using. And if you don't, your coffee is going to come out bitter. It's going to come out acidic. It's going to come out tasting like dirt in some cases. But you follow these, you follow these steps, and you and you look into these things. And you go to uh, Healthline.com and look at the water that you use. And you go to CoffeeMyVeins.com and look at the different grinds. You go to Read the Digest Canada and look at the different brews. You can go through there. You can find the best type of method to make the coffee that you want. It's going to take a little.
of time, you're going to have some bad coffee, but it's going to be worth it when you have your good coffee. All right, thank you very much. Y'all have a good day.